हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू प्रोफेशनल सिफर एंड माई नेम इज़ सौरभ शर्मा इन दिस वीडियो दिस इज़ द वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ ओवर जेंगो रिएक्ट सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गिव यू सम ओवर व्यू ऑफ वाट वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड इन तो वी विल बी यूजिंग जेंगो प्लस रिएक्ट एंड हेयर इज ए रफ आइडिया ऑफ वाट वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड एंड समथिंग लाइक दैट so for front end we will be using react js and uh, for uh, back end we will be using django so for the database we will be using postgresql and we will uh, we will build e-commerce website from these uh, frameworks and database so there are some uh, prerequisite so you must have some basic knowledge of uh, django framework and react uh, both so if that's uh, if you uh, are uh, expert in django then that's a additional plus and uh, at least you should know some basics about the react js and uh, since i am assuming that most of the uh, viewers who are watching this video uh, they must be from django and they are going to learn react js to uh, improve their skills so this is the idea and uh, so let's uh, start the video so firstly create a new folder and uh, but before that uh, just go and download node.js node.js download node.js helps you to uh, make a make a react app like uh, as you do in Django, like Django start to project and whatever the uh, name you give to that project. So uh, in the same way, you use Node.js to create that project. Basically, it will give you boilerplate as Django gives us uh, in the start project command. So choose your operating system and uh, download Node.js. Node so in our case, I am using Windows. So I click on the window and download uh, node.js since i have already downloaded so uh, i will not download now and uh, minimize this and here after installing then click right click here and uh, new folder so uh, whatever we call this django react e-commerce website okay let's open this so here open command line so in the address bar type cmd so this will open the command line in this folder so put this to side and uh, here make a django project which uh, or uh, so we will not start by django we will start by react so here we need to create a react app so if i move to the uh, documentation of the page so to make a react app we need to do npx create a react app and uh, the name of my app which uh, whatever i want to give the uh, give this app a name so npx basically uh, installed the react app and if you do npm create react app then this will install the uh, create react app package globally so you need to type npx instead of npm uh, you uh, you can understand this by like uh, npx will uh, uh, install this create react app package for this time only and npm will install this package for uh, globally and uh, you will you don't need to install that package again but that method is not recommended so we will use npx create react app so copy this and uh, come here and type now uh, name that like uh, in our case we will give this front end front end so press enter so this will take some time depending upon uh, the cpu and the internet connections 
so wait for that and uh, we will continue again uh, after that so i am going to post the video after that i will continue after it is uh, it is installed so our react app has been created and uh, here is the react app folder front end and here are some files in this folder so now we have some commands like uh, npm run build and uh, npm start so what these command does so npm start will uh, start a deployment development server like uh, uh, manage.py server in django so that's uh, same it start the development server on our local host and uh, npm build basically npm build will uh, here are so many files in the public and source folder if we go here so he, here we have index file and uh, in source we have also some js so what will uh, run build does so run build will uh, collect all the static files and uh, templates and put them into a folder called build build is not there because i have not run this command uh, now so like in django we uh, we have a command called collect static files so that's the same command here uh, for react where all the files are collected uh, static files are collected so uh, we don't uh, go like uh, uh, we don't uh, see about uh, run build we have to work uh, with uh, npm start for now so type here npm start but before that go to our project folder which is front end and uh, clear the screen and here type npm start so this will start a uh, development server on our local host url so until it start let's uh, open this folder in our vs code so right click open with code So the development server has been started and uh, uh, it's working on localhost port 3000 so we have successfully created our react app now minimize this and uh, close this out Close this. So put these windows to the side. Uh, okay so here we have some folders and files so currently don't uh, go into the deep of what these files do if you know some basics then definitely you should know these files so firstly we will you know, see these like uh, close this here in the public folder we have index.html so index.html uh, as you know react uh, mainly used for single page application so in uh, in react we don't have multiple pages like uh, we have in django templates so we don't we don't need to jump from page to page for uh, doing a particular work or going to a page so in react we have components and uh, whenever we need to go to a link then we see it seems that the page is reloaded but uh, page doesn't reload the components only change like uh, in this page we have uh, uh, logo and uh, some text so if uh, in the react we will if we want to change this text at a, after user click here then 
this text will be changed so we will the text will be in a component so the text will be changed and we don't need to reload this and uh, reload the whole page so only this text will be changed but uh, in uh, django templates or any other uh, like uh, in html css the whole page uh, get changed if uh, we click on anywhere so let's see next what's next in this so let's see some extensions that i am going to use in this project uh, so download these extension because these will help you so first is bracket pair colorizer 2 so this is best to like uh, you should definitely know this as uh, it will uh, color the brackets so you don't uh, get lost uh, like uh, what uh, when this function close or open so it's uh, it's very helpful and uh, if i go to django is helpful when you are working with the django and uh, i have a theme called dracula official very good theme and this is very helpful is es7 react redux react native snippets so this will uh, help in autocomplete as you can see here i have some example like imp if you type imp then it will auto complete this so it's very helpful we will later see how this work and uh, material icon theme you can download that so your icons will look like this and uh, and that that's uh, enough so these are some snippets if you need uh, so you can download that close this and uh, let's change this so uh, i can show you the app is working so if you see here we have index.html file and uh, if i go down here now you can see the uh, there is a div tag where id is equal to root so why this tag is here so if we, I go to index.js then this tag is uh, used by document.getElementById and uh, so this file use this tag and uh, it uh, execute the app file app file is located in our if you go here in app so this is located in our source folder app.js so this is the file from where this one is loading so if i change like uh, uh, learn react with Saurav Sharma so if i save this So this will reload and uh, as you can see this has successfully changed so that's how react uh, work and uh, this is since this is the first video so we have seen a overview of how react works and uh, in the next video we will see we will set up some uh, like uh, templates like uh, title and um, so many things so we'll uh, start in the next video this is only the introductory video so that's all for this video and if you uh, have any doubts or uh, problems then uh, comment below and i will try to solve them uh, as soon as possible so thank you for watching the video and uh, see you in the next video